Hello and good afternoon and welcome back to Oda's YouTube channel with one more session with your science master teacher. And in today's session, we will be learning about digestive system in my way. But before moving ahead, as you know that you can be part of our Oda family by enrolling to the bridge course. For that, you have to download the app in the Play Store. Go to the Play Store and download it. And what is this app basically? And what is this course basically? My dear children, bridge course is the only way. I would say it is the only gateway through which you can join to our family and be a part of it. And this bridge course is a one week program where you'll be learning concepts of maths and science with super teachers of ODA class. In live class, there will be a mentor, master teacher who will be teaching you. And after the class, if you have any doubts, you will be having a personal teacher who will be your mentor teacher who is going to stay with you after the class to solve your doubt. And after doubts are solved, you can also complete the homework on the app. If you complete the homework, you will be rewarded with ODA coins. And if you want to do some more practice, then you'll be also having test on the app itself. After the test, if you want to recall it again and again, we'll also provide you study material that is books. So all these are amazing features which you shouldn't miss it. So make sure you are enrolling to the bridge course and the link is in the description box. So click to this link and get yourself enrolled. And if you enroll now with the help of this link, the price will be only rupees 29. If not, if you go to the app and then if you want to enroll, the price will be 499. This is my price which I'm giving to you. So make sure you're not missing it. All right, moving ahead. So my name is Nayab. I am the science master teacher at ODA class. I've done my master's in biotechnology and I have more than four years of teaching experience. And my dear children, now I have a question for all of you. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food after it is consumed? For example, let us talk about the paratha. Who loves paratha? I love it very much, right? If you have seen this paratha, you do not eat this paratha without butter. Hena? If you talk specifically, this paratha is basically made up of wheat, right? And this wheat is a source of carbohydrate. Hena? Similarly, butter is also a source of fat, right? So your body needs this carbohydrates and fat as nutrients, right children? For that, it should be reached to the body. Who is going to help? Basically, digestive system. But before that, let us understand what is digestion. Digestion is the breakdown of food into smaller units, right? So when you eat paratha, right, you take a small bite, and you start mixing, right? You start grinding with the help of your teeth. Then it reaches to the stomach in this form. So basically, digestion is the breakdown of food into the stomach so that they can be observed in the body. So this is the breakdown of paratha. For this digestion process, there must be a specific system where it should happen. And that system is digestive system. So digestive system is the system of organs which contains organs who are responsible for getting food into and out of the body. This is the duty of digestive system to take the food in and to remove it out of the body. For making use of food to keep the body healthy and strong. So this system has members. It is a team of a system. Who are these members? Members are many. It's a big team. So these are the members of the digestive system. Mouth, esophagus, which is also known as foot pipe, stomach, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, small intestine, large intestine, anus, a huge team list, right? And it is very important to remember. But this is a bit difficult to remember, right? But you can easily remember this list with the trick which I'm going to teach you all now. So the trick is Mahi, Rohit Sharma are playing Ludo in garden by smiling 
and laughing. Mm, what is this now? Very easy, children. See, Mahi's M is for mouth. Rohit's O is for esophagus. Sharma's S is for stomach. Playing's P is for pancreas. Ludo's L is for liver. Garden's G is for gallbladder. And Smiling's S is for small intestine. Whereas Laughing's LA is for large intestine and anus. You just have to remember this mnemonic and you can remember these organs very easily. Right? Okay. So we all have studied, right? We can also classify this digestive system into two. Okay. We can divide this digestive system organs into two different things. First is gastrointestinal tract and second is accessory organs what is this gastrointestinal tract gastro basically means relating to stomach and intestinal means relating to intestine so this means this is a path which is related to stomach and intestine so my dear children it is the tract where food and liquids travel through gastrointestinal tract when they are swallowed digested absorbed and leave the body as feces so whole process eating that is swallowing digesting and absorbing of nutrients and the removing out of the body as feces will happen in this path only that is gastrointestinal path so my dear children here are the members of our gi tract so who are the members it starts with the mouth right you basically eat swallowed then it travels to the stomach with the help of esophagus and it reaches to small intestine large intestine and anus so in the small intestine there will be partial breakdown of food partial breakdown of food okay and this partial breakdown of food which is known as chyme will reach to the small intestine where complete breakdown will happen and the nutrients are absorbed by the villi like structure okay after nutrients are absorbed this villi will send this to large intestine and large intestine absorbs the salt and water and furthermore the waste is removed in form of feces with the help of anus this happens in your gi tract okay how about accessory organs then these are the organs which are very important and they are the contributing organs basically they help or they aid in completing the process of digestion digestive system is incomplete without these organs so what are those organs okay they help in digestion but they are not part of gastrointestinal tract they are not present in gi tract but they do help who are those they are salivary glands liver gallbladder or pan and pancreas so these are the accessory organs for example children see but how do these accessory organs help in digestion if they are not part of a gi tract they do help in this way they either secrete or they store substances when i say this this means they secrete the digestive juices clear they either secrete digestive juices or they store it for example liver and gallbladder so this is the liver hai na and this is the gallbladder which is the small pouch which sits under the liver now observe carefully this liver secretes the bile juice and gallbladder stores it did you got it which is very important yes similarly salivary glands secrete saliva pancreas secrete pancreatic juice and intestine secretes intestinal juice so without these digestive juices digestion cannot be complete right so this is the importance of accessory organs so now you learned how we can divide digestive system into gi tract and accessory organs you can learn 
some more concepts in such an easy way with the help of mnemonics if you join to our bridge course program yes so this course is starting from monday as i discussed before so in one week you will be learning concepts of maths and science with super easy way and after the class you'll be having a doubt supporter your personal mentor teacher you'll be also having an homework for extra practice and we'll be also giving you test on app itself and let me tell you you'll be also getting books okay books pdf as a study material for lifetime you can remember this so do not wait right now go to the go to the description box you will be having this link click to this link and get yourself enrolled right now at rupees 29 and most importantly do not forget to like share and subscribe and i'll meet you next time with one more amazing one more amazing topic till then do take care and bye bye